what is up guys welcome back to axipas guild channel and for today's video we're going to continue our axi infinity game tutorial for beginners before we start um, please like the video and subscribe to our channel as well and for those who are interested in monthly scholarship opportunities in our guild axipas guild you can join our discord group for more information link in the description down below go check that out with that being said let's start our topic for today is buffs and debuffs buffs are the uh, status effects that affects your axi in a positive way and the counter act for it or the counterpart of the buff is the debuffs which uh, affects your uh, axi in a negative way so if you're a gamer most of the games have this type, this type of status effects so in axi infinity there are three buffs because there are three um, stats only and 13 debuffs in the game so these are subject to change depending on the update or the rebalance and we're going to discuss only the buffs and the debuffs itself so when it comes to cards information there are some um, buffs and debuffs that has a certain conditions like uh, for example the garish worm or the uh, barb strike it needs to be chained in order to take effect the uh, debuff to apply to a certain target so we'll get into that uh, soon but for now we're going to discuss first the uh, buffs and debuffs so in buffs there are only three types of buffs which are the attack up the icon with sword um, sword and a arrow pointed up this by the way this these all three buffs are stackable but in attack up case um, if you have two stacks and you use two cards only one card will gain um, two attack buff damage so the following attack will not gain the buff so I just want to clear that out because uh, in moral case and speed up these are um, these buffs um, retain for the current round or until next round but in attack up case until you perform an attack that's the time that it will consume the attack buff unlike in moral and speed up even if you perform a attack or defend it will remain until uh, next round or current round so let's go back in attack up the icon is a uh, arrow pointed up and sword in moral a fire and pointed arrow up and for speed a boot and pointed arrow up in attack up case it increases at next attack by 20% stackable in moral up increases moral by 20% for the next round in some uh, cards it lasted until next round so these are stackable also and for speed up it increases the speed of an axi for the next round or until next round these are also stackable so let's move to the debuffs So let's move to the debuffs. Debuffs are status effects which affects your axi in a negative way. So currently there are 13 uh, debuffs in the game. These are the Aroma, Attack Down, Chill, Fear, Fragile, Jinx, Lethal, Moral Down, uh, Poison, Sleep, Speed Down, Stench, and Stun. So let's um, discuss this uh, one by one 
if your axi or his axi has the aroma it will get the uh, priority of targeting for the, for the current round so there is only one card that has this um, status effect which is the egg bomb so if the user casts the egg bomb he will get the aroma effect and if the enemy side attacks it will ignore the other axis and will target the one with has the aroma in most cases aroma is being used to divert attacks from um, front axis you can see this um, place from a bird or sometimes they can uh, divert the attack or focus the attack on a certain axis if the bird has the backdoor potential which is the dark swoop so in attack downs case by the term itself attack down decreases the attack by 20% um, the icon is arrow down and sword so these are this uh, debuff is stackable also just like the attack up until you perform the attack that's the time that it will uh, be consumed so you can stack up to I think 5 so that would be 100% decreases in attack so the attack would become 0 I guess haven't tested it yet haven't seen it yet but uh, in terms of its uh, description and how the attack up um, function I think uh, it is the same way as attack down so number three or the third one is chill the icon is a snowflake I guess chill affected axis can't enter last stand so in our previous uh, episode we discussed how uh, last stand uh, works so if you apply chill to a target it will ignore that uh, calculation and the axi won't and won't enter the last stand so the next one is fear the icon is the an emoji with sweat in it and if an axi has been affected by fear its attack will miss the description I here is affected axi can't attack but um, in my experience and how I see it you can still attack but your attack will miss so the next one is fragile I think the icon is a bandage fragile if your uh, if you apply uh, fragile status effect on a axi the shield takes double damage for the next incoming attack so for example if your attack is spicy surprise and the shield is 180 we're not going to use the damage calculation here here this is just an example if you perform, if you perform uh, spicy surprise and the axi has a fragile status effect and he has uh, 180 shield and you perform a 90 damage attack the shield will break because uh, fragile takes double damage from the shield for the incoming attacks so let's move to the next one the jinx the icon is a gray cloud i guess the axi affected by jinx can't critical hit for the next round so this uh, status effect is very useful against beast because beast has the highest uh, moral in the game as of now and the mech as well and also the beast has the 
card that has a 100% guarantee that it will crit which is the Ronin or single combat but if the Axie has a Jinx debuff in it it won't get a critical hit because uh, the debuff will take effect before the card effect burst so the next one is little the icon is a uh, X mark a, a red X mark so Axie with little status effect um, the next hit is a guaranteed critical so there is a uh, situation here wherein for example the beast has a jinx buff and you apply for example if you're very low then you apply that mark to the target so the target will get uh, the lethal debuff but your beast has the jinx debuff so if you hit the axi with a lethal debuff i think it will not get critical hit because the jinx will uh, take effect first i haven't uh, experienced or seen that yet but in my opinion the jinx will take effect first and the critical hit um, will be negated uh, hopefully I can find an example to show that I'll find a clip if there is any so let's move on to the next one the moral down the icon is arrow down and a fire Moral down decreases morale of the Axie by 20% for the next round. These are stackable also. So, it's a counterpart of the morale up. So, the next one is Poison. This one is a very popular one because this debuff won't be removed until it is being until it's been cleansed by Bidens so poison C to effect the affected Axie loses 2 HP for every action meaning every time an Axie performs uh, performs a card attack or defend even though the attack uh, miss or the attack um, kills the enemy or whatever is the situation is if an axi performs an action the affected axi that has poison will lose 2 hp so these are stackable also so for example if you have uh, 5 poison stacks that would be 10 for every card so if you perform uh, 4 cards attack that would be um, 10 HP for each card so that would be 40 until you perform all those 4 cards so the next one is uh, sleep sleep icon is a sleepy emoji I guess I'm not sure but sleep uh, to effect is the next incoming attack ignore shield so there is only one card that has uh, that can apply this uh, debuff which is the shooting song the card itself if you cast it right away the damage will ignore the shield for example if the axi uh, applies 50 shield and the bird uses the shooting song it will pass through the shield and apply the sleep uh, status effect and the next incoming attack one attack only the next one attack will ignore the shield so not all four cards will or not the following cards will all ignore the shield only one card will ignore the shield because uh, if 
an attack is performed after the sleep status effect, it will consume the debuff. So the next one is speed down. Counterpart of speed up, the icon is arrow down and a boot. Uh, speed down decreases the speed of an axi for the next round and these are stackable also. So let's move on to the next one, the last two. Next one is stench. The icon is a poo and affected axi loses target priority for the next round. So the example, the best example here is if the first axi uses stench to the front target the second axi that would attack will ignore the axi that has stench debuff so as the description says affected axi loses target priority for the next round this is also the reason why i chose to um, discuss first the target priority in our first episode because most of the debuffs and some of the uh, debuffs um, breaks this rule which is the target priority and the formation so I hope this is clear and for the last one the stun status effect the famous of them all because uh, if you are familiar with some of the videos they uh, show the termi termini or terminators stun um, icon is a circle with swirling lines in it stun has two uh, effect the first one if you are attacking if you have stun status effect your attack will miss and if you are defending the next incoming attack that you will receive ignores your ignores the shield that is why uh, terminators are very strong because two of their cards has the ability to stun the opponent if you are defending if your shield is break which is the sticky goo the attacker will get a uh, stun and his next attack will probably miss or will surely miss not probably will surely miss because uh, the sticky goose effect will um, activated and the attacker will get stun also terminator has the chomp or the tiny turtle if comboed with two cards the attack will have a stun status debuff to a target so the next attack that you will perform after the uh, chomp or tiny, tur tiny turtle will ignore the shield for most cases the, the terminators uses it uh, the card order is if they want to pass through your shield if they know you have a high shield or if they want to kill you right away the card sequence would be chomp then allergic reaction or tourney caterpillar and two or one other cards so i hope i explain all these uh, debuffs and buffs these are all subject again to rebalancing and balancing depending on the update and to the developers so i think that is it for this episode of axi infinity beginners tutorial i hope i explained the buffs and debuffs thoroughly and again if i miss something or i explain uh, some buffs or debuffs uh, incorrect please correct me in the comment section down below i would love to be corrected and i want to learn too just like you and improve my skills in the game as well um, also uh, if you find the video helpful 
please like the video and subscribe to our channel as well hit the not hit the notification bell also so that um, you will get notified if we uploaded uh, another episode also check out our uh, other playlist which we feature our um, scholars gameplay and if you want to be a part of it um, check the discord link in the description down below go check our um, discord channel and just please be respectful to others don't directly message uh, anyone just follow the basic rules and we're going to have a um, monthly scholarship giveaway i guess so if you want to join and get the scholarship go check our link go check our discord into the link description soon we're going to have uh, a replay commentary of a uh, an actual match but until i discuss uh, some of the theories that a beginners should uh, should have known or should know uh, that's the time that we're going to have an actual match replay i know uh, theory theories are uh, kind of boring but you don't need actually to um, internalize all of this because some of this um, will come to you when you experience the game but it is very helpful also to at least know or uh, understand how things uh, work in the game so with that being said um, see you on the next episode